Now we're going to go ahead and create a new service that will be used for managing the notes in our application. So this service will be responsible for both creating new notes as well as retrieving them for us so that we can see them either in a list or a detail view. And we can just use the Ionic CLI to generate that service for us. So we will say Ionic generate provider note service. And this is going to create a new directory called providers and that will contain our new class note service in a subdirectory of the same name. So you can see that it's just an Angular service. We have our injectable decorator here. I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of this boilerplate. And here we're going to use Ionic Storage, which will essentially allow us to save key value pairs as well as JSON data for our application. It uses a variety of different means of storing data, including SQLite and local storage. So I'm going to head back to the command line, and here we'll just say Ionic Cordova plugin add Cordova SQLite storage. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this. And now in our note service, what I'm going to do is go ahead and import storage from Ionic Storage. Now we need to head into our app module. And then in our imports array here, just after the Ionic module for root, we're going to go ahead and also import Ionic Storage module for root. Okay, and just make sure that this gets imported as well at the top of the file. So let's head back to our add note page. So under pages, add note.html, and let's create a basic form here. So within the ion content tags, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new form. And at first we're going to use a, a simple template driven form. So first of all, we'll say on submit here, what we'll do is we'll call some method add note in our component and we'll store a local reference to the form here, which we'll set to ng form. And this will give us a reference to the form that we're currently using. And then we can pass f.value to this method in our component. So this will be the simple example first. So we'll just write it out really quickly here. So first we'll create a new ion item using this ion item attribute. Likewise, we can use ion label to create a label for our form, which we'll just call title. And then we can use ion text area with the name of title. Okay, and now for this simple example here, first we'll be using a template driven approach. So we'll use ng model here to get a reference to the title property here in our component that we can then use. And then just below the item here, we'll have our button ion button. And here we'll just say save note. So now we'll have access to this object that has a title from our form based on whatever we type into our text area. So let's go ahead and select add note. And you can see that we have our text field and then save note here. So what I'm going to do is head into our add note TypeScript file. And again, we'll remove some of this boilerplate. And you can see that we have a sort of lifecycle hook method that gets called here, which currently is just logging something to the console when the Ionic view loads. So we're going to go ahead and just remove that as well. And we're going to create our add note method in our add note TypeScript file. And in fact, I think I'd like to call this save note. So let's go ahead and rename this to save note. And then back in our TypeScript file here, We have our save note function, and what we're going to do is pass it this value, which will be an object that has a title property on it, which is of type string. And so now we'd like to actually make use of our note service. So we'll go ahead and inject that into this constructor. So we'll call it note service, and it will be of type note service. And we can go ahead and make that import here as well. Okay, and right, and so it looks like it can't resolve our note service saying that it has no exported member note service. So let's go take a look here. Okay, so it's calling it note service provider. I think I'd like just to call it note service. So we'll change the name here. And then in our app module, we'll also need to make sure that the name that we import here is, is also note service. We'll head down into our providers and 
should just have one note service. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close some of these open tabs. And then in our add note TypeScript file, we now have a valid import of our note service and we've injected it into our constructor here. So now let's go ahead and invoke it. So we'll call this dot note service. And here we'll have a save note method that will pass value, which in this case is currently just the title of the note that we're going to create. So let's go ahead and create this method in our note service. So I'm just going to F12 on note service and we'll remove what's in our constructor and we'll go ahead and create this method save note. It's obviously going to take the value of our note title. So we'll make the input parameter note, which will be of a type object that has a title on it, which is a string. And then what we need to do is essentially push this note that we want to save onto an array of these notes. And for now, let's just do a really simple way of doing that where we'll actually just store a reference to those notes in this service. So I'm going to go ahead and above the constructor, create a private notes property, which will be basically an array of objects that contain a title of type string. And we can even initialize that just as an empty array here. And then you can see all we need to do now is to actually push onto that array of notes. So we have a way to save our notes, and now we also need a way to, of course, retrieve them. So let's create a method get all notes. And here, all we need to do is actually return this.notes. And in fact, maybe here we'll just return a copy of this.notes, which we could do using the spread operator. This would also be like if we wanted to use slice instead of the spread operator. So in a sense, we're just returning a copy of this dot notes and not returning sort of a pointer to it directly. But in any case, we can use a spread operator or slice for that. Okay, so then back in our add note component, we've now completed our method to save the note, which should call the save note function in our note service, adding it to that array of notes that it's collecting and now maybe on our home page, so if we look in the home TypeScript file, we'll use the note service to get all the notes and then display them out here. So again, we'll inject a private note service here, type note service, and we'll go ahead and make that import. And so just after our add note method that we created, we can create one called get all notes. And here we'll return all notes from our note service. So we can call this dot note service dot get all notes. That will return again a copy of that array of notes that is stored in the note service. And then we'll have an analogous array of notes in this component. So we can have notes, which again will be an array of this object that contains a title property which is of type string, and we'll initialize it as an empty array. And now we can use one of Ionic's lifecycle hooks here, ion view will enter. And we can set this.notes to this.getAllNotes. So ion view will enter is just a lifecycle event. This one runs when a page is about to enter and become the active page. There are a number of different lifecycle events that we can make use of, including ion view did load, ion view did enter, among others, including when, we, when we're about to leave a page, for instance. If you'd like to see a full list of other lifecycle events, then be sure to check out the Ionic docs, and you can find these under lifecycle events under nav controller. Okay, and then back in our note service, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove what's in our constructor here, because we don't actually need anything in our constructor here yet. Okay, so the last thing we need to do here is to actually create the part of our template that will allow us to display the notes that we're saving on the home page here. So I'm gonna to go to the home.html template page, and then here, just above our button, what I'm gonna do is create a new ion list. So you can see the number of different components that Ionic provides out of the box, which are really useful. And here we'll create a button. We'll use the ion item directive here to provide some styling. And now we can use the standard ng4, star ng4 here, to loop through our array of notes. So we can just say let note of notes. 
And then we can use some interpolation here to just go ahead and grab the title from each of those notes, which is the only property that we have on it anyway at the moment. Okay, so this is just pretty standard Angular here. So this notes in our let note of notes is referring to the notes property that we have in our component. And when this view is about to enter, we call our get all notes method, which invokes our note service to return a copy of all the notes that it's storing. So let's go ahead and test it out. So we'll create a new note, call it first note, and then we'll go ahead and try to save it. Okay, so we don't get any sort of feedback but if we click back now, we can see that we have the first note in our list. So we can go ahead and add a second note and we can save that. And then we go back and we can see that second note is also in our list.